Welcome to Daily Devos. We are diving deep in the Word of God for the Word, the whole Word, and nothing but the Word. And oh my goodness, when we get into the Word of God, it is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. We are now in Ephesians chapter 5, and we're finishing off verse 6, going to verse 7. It says, Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God is coming upon the sons of disobedience. So what are these things? Well, the Bible talks about earlier, it talks about sexual immorality, impurity, greed, uh, let's see, filthiness, foolish talking, coarse joking, and, uh, and, and all those things. It says that, that we should not be deceived with empty words, for because of these things, the wrath of God, that is the anger, that is the judgment of God, is coming upon the sons of disobedience. Yes, my friend, God is a good God. God is a righteous God. God is a loving God, but God is also a, right, a righteous God. God is a holy God, and God is a just God. He's a God of justice, and He judges unrighteousness. Thank God for Jesus because Jesus went to the cross to take your judgment and mine upon himself, not so, only so that we can be free from the judgment of God, but so we can be born again and have a new nature, the nature and the life of God in us so that we can live a new life a life that is just like Jesus Christ, a life that comes from God himself. It's Zoe life, the God kind of life. And God has delivered us from the powers of darkness. God has delivered us from a lifestyle of sin and unrighteousness and ungodliness so we can live a life of righteousness and godliness and holiness. So he says that God will judge every act of, of unrighteousness that is the habit and the nature of the sons of disobedience and then he says therefore do not be partakers with them in other words don't count yourself in that camp and don't participate in what they are doing the things that you and I used to do when we were in the world when we were not yet born again then he says in verse 8 for you were formerly darkness but now you are light in the Lord walk as children of light very clear very very strong instructions it says, at one time, we were darkness. In other words, we were those who brought darkness. Uh, our lifestyle was one that brought people into darkness. If they followed us, they would end up in darkness. And so he says, that's what we used to be. That's what you used to be. And then he says, but now we are children of light. Those people who bring light to the world. Glory to God. We are the light of the world. We are to show the world how they ought to live. The world is in darkness. Why? Because they're dead in trespasses and sins. They don't know any better. But now we are born again. Now we are light to those who are in darkness. And then he says to us, walk as children of light. That's an exhortation. That is an admonishment that now we have the power to live a different life. Not the old life, but a new life. It is progressive. It is not going to happen completely overnight. It's a new life emerging as the old lifestyle fades away, as our minds are renewed, as we feed ourselves with the Word of God, as we learn who we are in Christ and what God has made available to us and appropriate the grace of God, we are able to manifest more and more this new nature that God has given to us in Christ Jesus. If any man be in Christ, he is a new creation. 
Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. That means that you and I have to believe that there's a new life in us. We don't have to feel like it's there. We just have to believe that there is a new life in us which is the life of God, and begin to walk according to that new life. There's a life inside of you, my friend. If you're in Christ Jesus, that life is working in you. Life doesn't make noise, does it? Doesn't, can't feel life, but it is there. And God wants us to now walk as children of light. Someone's watching. Someone is observing you. Someone is trying to figure out, is this thing real? Does it really work? Is there any difference between me and that person who is born again? Walk as children of light because somebody is watching and they want the light.